Okay, so let's take a look at the music application. I know a lot of people are interested in that. I've moved it to the home screen, so basically just click on it. And there's already a bunch of songs already included on here, on the G1. So it, it's pretty neat. You can press the menu button and play all. You can look at the library in different ways, uh, artists, albums, playlists, or songs. Let's go back to where we were. Uh, you could do playback, and it'll show whatever's been playing more recently. You can shuffle them all. Uh, of course, you can always use your track wheel if you want. It is a touch phone, so it depends on if you're two-handed things, you can use your touch screen. If you got the trackpad, then you can use that. All right, so let's go into this song here. And what's cool is I've, it starts playing immediately, but right here you have the artist, the album, and the song. If you hold down the artist, you can search for the artist through Amazon MP3, Google, or YouTube if you want to watch. Let's see if we got some videos of her online. And uh, we've got some different videos there. All right, I think this is her music video. And it'll start playing it. All right, so we're still concerned with the music application. Uh, you could do the same thing for the album. Let's look for it on Google. Focus. There we go. And find a bunch of, there's her website right there. Uh, or if we want to decide that we like the whole album, uh, or we like more songs from Katy Perry, uh, we can look her up on Amazon MP3 and see what else is on there. You can buy the album or different songs. Okay, so that's the basics for how the music application works. And I think that's everything. Let's see. Oh!